Zelda. Today we're talking features that might be coming to Minecraft's 1.21 update. Most of these features I think have a pretty good chance of getting added in 1.21 because I tried to keep this list as realistic as possible. Because I see a lot of people nowadays talking about like for example with 1.21 it's meant to be focused on combat and redstone tinkering people saying there are gonna be end update features or savannah update features because of the armadillo but I tried to keep these more in line with the original update theming of combat and tinkering so starting off the list we have a drop for the new breeze mob being added in this update the breeze could drop breeze rods which could be used as a potion and brewing ingredient for some kind of projectile deflection potion because the breeze can now deflect all projectiles almost right back at the player, this could be a new and unique potion. Or maybe even an armor enchantment found only in the trial chambers. Next up on the list is a combat overhaul. This could start with bringing the Java combat system over to bedrock. And they could also make changes like making potions stackable and other things like that. But my dream really is to have actual combat animations like swords swinging and that kind of stuff. Or maybe we'll see new weapon types like hammers or maces. Or maybe even spears. Next thing on the list is the moss or poison skeleton. And this is already sort of in snapshots but only on Java just as a skeleton with poison arrows. It's not actually a new mob yet. So this will probably be made into its own new mob later in the update. And it might look a lot like the moss skeleton from Minecraft Dungeons is what a lot of people have been speculating. Next we have the Copper Golem, an old mob vote loser. Now it's been said that this mob doesn't fit within the update's theme, but really it does. And not because of the new copper blocks being added in 1.21, more because the copper golem is a mob meant for tinkering with redstone and obviously that's part of this update's theming. So if not this update then when else? Also this might be a good way for Mojang to settle some of that stop the mob vote controversy from 2023. And the next thing on this list is actually another mob that's set to be added to the game eventually when it fits the update theme well. Now I'm talking more for the combat side of the update though, and I'm talking about the Red Dragon. Notch had originally planned to add this mob, but never got around to it, and so it was said to be added when it would fit an update theme well, and of course with this being a combat adventure update, then it would be great for this update to give players another reason to explore and go fight a new boss. Also on the Minecraft YouTube channel, Mojang kind of did confirm that they plan to add a new boss eventually. So my guess is that that will probably be this update because of course this is a combat update so that makes sense. And what better boss to add than the red dragon that the community has been wanting to get added to the game for so long now. Honestly, if they just added the red dragon in this update, it would probably make a lot more people happy with this update. The next idea I have is actually another boss, and that's the redstone monstrosity from Minecraft Dungeons. This could work well as a boss for the trial chambers, and also since it's redstone, it could drop some new redstone blocks for tinkering to also make it fit within the tinkering side of the update. And the next thing I have on the list here could actually be a group of features, and that's an Illager expansion. Because the Illagers are basically the only actual antagonist faction in Minecraft. In particular, they could add the Illusioner in this update, since the Illusioner is basically already done in the files. And they didn't add it in the Village and Pillage update, so maybe they're saving it for this update instead. Although I think the Illusioner should have its own new structure since Illagers usually have their own dedicated structures. Getting near the end of the list, we have Super Enchantments. 
these would be enchantments like sharpness 6 or protection 5, one above the regular max. And these could be great exclusive loot for the trial chambers, since then basically everyone would have reason to go there. Here for the second to last thing on the list is more armor trims, specifically for the trial chambers, since they've started the trend of having an armor trim for basically every structure, they should continue that for the trial chambers. And the last feature I wanted to discuss here was more like a general group of features, and that's just more dungeons in general. Because when you think of a combat update, you usually think of new dungeons to explore. And right now we only have one, though the trial chambers are great. It would be nice to have some more variety of dungeons to explore. Now, I know a lot of people are concerned with how little content we've gotten for 1.21 so far. So, I'd just like to remind everyone watching this that by this point in the year last year, we had only gotten like half of the content for 1.20. In fact, by this time we still had yet to get the Cherry Blossom Grove biome, Archaeology with the Desert Temple update, the Trail Ruins, and all of the Pottery Sherds, and also the Sniffer. Also, just on a real quick side note, one last thing I want is Green Fire on Copper. That'd be so cool to have. And then Minecraft could teach people about real life science, which seems to be something Mojang loves to do with the game. Anyway, that'll do it for today's video. And if you're interested in or want to join the movement to save Minecraft, watch my video I made before this one. I can pretty safely say it'll be worth your time. And if you feel like liking or subscribing, that's always appreciated greatly. And now finally, goodbye.